Josh George, college football. Today I'm recording my Heisman prediction video. I'm going to start by pointing out I took all the photos from Instagram, Twitter, things that athletes had already put out for free. And also, I'm not really making money off this video anyways. So NIL was not a factor. So who will win the Heisman? Let's start with most likely backup to win the Heisman. Guy who's not starting. According to the magazines, Arch Manning. If he comes in week three, you know, he'll have time to rack up a bunch of stats, look really good. He's already got the name, already got his name in the paper, so to speak. So Arch Manning is the likeliest backup to win the Heisman. But we don't predict backups to win the Heisman, do we? Most likely freshman, Ryan Williams. He's a freshman wide true freshman wide receiver at Alabama. And 6'2", can run a 4'3", super fast, can be a talented, going to get on the field early. If a true freshman wins it, it'll likely be this fella right here. Defensive player to likely win the Heisman, Danny Stutzman, number 28 at Oklahoma. Same number as Adrian Peterson wore, and he's the heart and soul of this defense. But defensive players often don't win Heisman either, do they? Likely running back to win the Heisman, Ollie Gordon. The second at Oklahoma State, workhorse running back. He's going to get 90% of the carries at OSU this year. He's going to rack up a ton of yards, have tons of stats. I think, depending on how this team's winning and loss record wins, you may see Ollie getting an invite at the end of the season. Then wide receiver likely to make, make an inv- get an invite. Travis Hunter also plays both sides of the ball. Um... Look, he's a big-time impact player, really, really good star. Um, Will make it to the NFL, no doubt. Might get an invite, but people are going to look at this Buffalo record and go, is he the best player on the best team? And that's what a lot of people vote on, not necessarily the best player in the country. Because Travis Hunter is probably the best player in the country, but he's not the best player on the best team. Cam Rising is going to take notice. He's going to be one of the the best players on a really good team. People are going to like how he's leading. I had him leading Utah to the conference championship and winning it in the Big 12 in the first year. First year back. Big story. People are going to love him. He's one of my best quarterbacks. The next one, Drew Allard. I think Drew Allard gets an invite. I think he's in the top four, top five. I think he's on the fringe of going to New York. But I just think there's some quarterbacks that put up the better stats, look a little bit better, and people like a little bit more because the offense is a little bit more flashy. Oregon. I think that Dylan Gabriel has a chance to get an invite at Oregon. He's been talked about as um, being, being in the discussion last year. I think he gets back in the discussion this year. And it is a possibility if he is super stats guy, he could break the all-time uh, passing yards record in record in college football. And I think I know it's a seasonal award, but a lot of these voters still will look at season to season, and you got to earn your way in. That's why it's so hard for freshmen and sophomores to win it. And I think that might get Gabriel an invite. Miller Moss, I'd be an idiot if I didn't pick a Lincoln Riley guy to put him on this list. Lincoln Riley's won Heisman's with Caleb Williams, Kyler Murray, and Baker Mayfield. He's finished second in the Heisman voting um, with um, – oh, um, hmm. He's finished second in the Heisman voting a couple times with his quarterbacks. So he gets them there. So I think Miller Moss will wind up second – I don't think he'll be good enough to win it, even with Lincoln Riley. I think people will it, – it'll be kind of like last year, the reason Caleb Williams didn't win it, didn't get, didn't get invited. The team wasn't good enough, even though Caleb Williams was one of the best players in the nation. Then the Heisman winner for 2024 will be Carson Beck of Georgia. That's my official prediction. I'm predicting Carson Beck of the Georgia Bulldogs to win the Heisman. And I have Georgia, a lot of people have Georgia as the best team this year. Carson Beck's the quarterback, the leader, best player. We all know that this defense is going to be solid. 
And if he comes out and puts up numbers like crazy, and they've got a difficult enough schedule, they're going to have eyeballs on him every week. People are going to be like, why not Carson? I think that is the slogan. I'm Josh George. This was a preseason prediction for the Heisman winner of 2024.